Welcome back viewers, this is Tyler, also known as Life Brick Studios, and here to bring you another video, here to bring you my 2021 LEGO Star Wars Winter Wave prediction video. And uh, yeah guys, so we have a little bit of slight rumors for 2021 so far, but nothing that crazy yet, so this is going to be all kind of based off speculation. Uh, there are a couple predictions kind of based off the rumors, but again, nothing too crazy, and this is not really a complete list. Um, kind of just giving you my basic opinion, kind of an outline of what I think is going to come. So uh, yeah, let's get into it guys. The, the rumor, of course, you guys probably already know it, have seen it around on YouTube and Instagram, is that there, at least in uh, 21, uh, 2021 January, there are going to be no uh, $15 battle packs. So uh, that's definitely something that, you know, was a big hit. A lot of people are pretty sad about that. Um, I'm, you know, for one, I'm sad just because I, I feel like there's kind of wasted potential there. Uh, you know, it's, it's going to kind of be weird to not, you know, see $15 battle packs on the shelf. I think they've always been a great deal. Um, but of course, I see where like it was coming from, but I think they still could have found room for both of the styles on the shelf. But that kind of brings me into my first prediction is... I feel like in the winter, we are going to get another $30 battle pack. I don't know why, but I really feel like we are going to get a $30 battle pack in the winter wave. And in my opinion, it's not going to be no, you know, 332nd, um, you know, Clone Trooper, you know, uh, battle pack. Since we already have one of the AAT, I doubt they're going to, you know, spread that, you know, that Clone Trooper out so, you know, quickly. So I think we're going to get a $30 Rebel and Imperial Imperial split battle pack. That's what I'm going to call it. And uh, I don't know which way they're going to go. You know, I don't know if it's going to be, you know, a three and three or a two and four. Um, but I think we're going to get a Rebel and Imperial split battle pack. Whether or not it's going to be, you know, for Endor or Hoth or, you know, Tatooine, I'm not sure yet. I, I would think, I have, I have a prediction. I mean, I don't want it to be Hoth, but it might be Hoth. I mean, honestly, I, I just can't kind of, you know, predict that if I really had to put my money on one you know scenery and one like you know idea for a, a rebel and imperial split battle pack I'd probably have to say Hoth so at that point maybe you know four Hoth rebel troopers you know two snow troopers maybe an e-web cannon a, a snow speeder and kind of call it a day there but again we've seen a lot of Hoth stuff over the years so um, I don't want it to be Hoth but we it I, I would just have to put my money on it that it would probably be Hoth so uh, there's kind of my first idea Moving on to the two microfighter ideas I have. These are kind of basic ones, but um, at least this first one I really feel like is going to happen is a Razor Crest microfighter. Um, I feel like this one's going to happen without a doubt um, in January 2021. It's going to probably come with the Mandalorian or possibly even just a Baby Yoda. I'm not sure. I doubt, again, they're going to put you know Baby Yoda you know, coming from a $130 set into a $10 set. I doubt they're going to do that. Um, but on the off chance, I think the two minifigures we could see are the Mandalorian or Baby Yoda or potentially Cara Dune. But again, I just don't really see it. I would think maybe the Mandalorian, um, even though he is kind of a valuable minifigure in himself. But uh, there is that. And also the second microfighter I feel like we're going to get is a Venator microfighter. Um, just something I feel like we're going to get. You know, we've gotten a Star Destroyer one. You know, the Clone Wars did just come out. We have no rumors or, you know, sets yet of a new updated Venator, you know, a full-scale one. So I feel like maybe if if they were to do anything, maybe a Venator microfighter. And here's where I get, uh, you know, kind of another idea is I feel like in that microfighter, they might come out with a regular phase one or phase two uh, updated clone. You know, kind of like how they did the... Um, uh, you know, the 501st and 332nd, but just to make it a, a plain white phase two clone. So that's where I feel like that, that minifigure might come in, you know, kind of like the, how the turbo tank was back in 2014 and, uh, you know, kind of be a sought after mini minifigure again, but hopefully at that point they'll eventually release it in other sets. But, um, that's kind of my opinion on that right there. So, uh, let's move on to a couple things that I just kind of feel like we're going to get in general, but I can't really give you like a straight prediction is I feel like we're going to get one more four plus set. I feel like we're going to get that. I'm not too sure of what yet. Um, you know, it could be, uh, from the Clone Wars, you know, sequel trilogy, original trilogy, I'm not sure yet, but I feel like we'll at least get one more of those. And then I also feel like we'll get one more uh, regular Rise of Skywalker set. Um, whether it's the duel on Exegol or anything like that, I feel like we're going to get one more uh, Rise of Skywalker set in the Winter Wave. Um, you know, Maybe a $50, $60 set. Again, it could be the duel on Exegol, but I'm not too sure yet. There's no rumors yet. Um, and then let's move on to the three actual predictions I have for uh, Lego sets. And again, these are kind of biased on kind of what I would want to see, but they're also, you know, they got some truth to them. The first one being a Clone Wars MTT. This was kind of a uh, fake rumored a couple months ago. And of course, you know, nothing ever came of it. Uh, you know, it's not a current rumor or anything like that. So um, don't really, you know, take this, you know, take this with a grain of salt, of course, but I feel like we might get a Clone Wars MTT. I'm not sure. And again, if we follow the whole, you know, an MTT every seven year theory, I mean, I don't know. I feel like it might all add up together and we might get a Clone Wars MTT. Of course, Clone Wars just ended the seven year thing. 
Uh, you know, we've never gotten a blue MTT. So I don't know. I feel like, you know, 2021 might be a year of good surprises, but I'm not too sure yet, of course. I mean, of course, there's no rumors. I don't work for Lego. So uh, my first set idea is a, a Clone Wars MTT. That's the first prediction I have right here. And then uh, moving on to another one, a Clone Wars Y-Wing. I feel like this one might happen. Uh, again, great mock-up by BrickWizard59 right here uh, that you guys will see on the screen. Um, potential, I feel. I feel like this might happen. I feel like it might be one or the other, though. Maybe a Clone Wars MTT or a Y-Wing. Looking at it, maybe I maybe I won't you know say there's gonna be both on the shelf at the same time that'd be great um but i just don't i can't really i probably would not put money on it that we'll see both of these on the shelf at the same time so uh if i had to choose one or the other i'd probably choose the mtt honestly but uh the y-wing of course would probably have uh, some cool minifigures in there of course uh you know a new captain rex maybe a new jesse uh, ahsoka and uh, definitely be pretty cool in that regard. So uh, there is that idea. Then moving on to my last kind of official uh, prediction I have for the uh, 2021 Winter Wave would have to be a new updated Imperial Shuttle uh, regular size playset. So of course we had that kind of slight rumor there for a little bit that we were going to get a UCS one uh, in, in fall of 2020, but that did not happen. Of course, uh, as of now, it's it's rumored to be and pretty much confirmed to be a, a Mos Eisley Cantina uh you know UCS set coming out in October so uh there's that so I feel like maybe kind of just basing off that rumor and the fact we have also not gotten one for seven years at that point uh, we might be seeing an Imperial Shuttle uh regular set you know I don't know maybe maybe the rumors got mixed up maybe it's supposed to be a regular size um you know a regular size play set for uh January of 2021 I'm not too sure um, and then let's move on. There, there are slight rumors. There's been slight discussion that we might not see a wave in 2021, uh, in January 2021. You know, that they might not be coming out, uh, you know, December 31st, January 1st. They might be delayed a little bit. Uh, I don't have any really comment on that. I'm not too sure. I don't know where that kind of slight rumor stemmed from, um, but I'm not going to really promote that since I'm not too sure where it came from and I don't really believe that. Uh, maybe, maybe a little bit late, maybe, just due to these sets being a little bit late, you know, in the summer. Uh, but I'm not too sure on that one yet. Uh, but yeah, overall, guys, that's pretty much all my ideas for uh, 2021 uh, predictions. You know, pretty much all of my, my straight-up predictions. Like, if I had to put money on everything, if I had to, you know, name 10 sets I'd put money on, would be these sets right here. And uh, hopefully these all happen. I think everyone would be a big fan of them. Of course, there's going to be some other, you know, probably original trilogy sets, you know, mixed in between. You know, a couple smaller sets, a couple bigger sets. And uh, we'll have to just wait and see, guys. So definitely stay tuned to the channel if you guys want to keep up to date on all the latest LEGO Star Wars news. I'm always usually the first one to break it on YouTube. And I want to thank you guys all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for us, you guys, later. Bye, guys. Stay safe. 5% off on your next LEGO purchase. Be sure to use code LIFEBRICK. Uh, that's capital L-I-F-E BRICK at republicbricks.com for 5% off your next order. We'll pretty much pay for your shipping or get you a couple dollars off. They sell old Lego minifigures, sets, mystery boxes, and more. I've got a couple of videos on my channel uh, showing the products, uh, so be sure to use code LIFEBRICK on your next order for 5% uh, for off.